Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel. Welcome back to the Adventures of Mida, the Kajiri Monk. Now, I've kind of realized that last two episodes were a little bit of a lame duck episode because it kind of took us just 40 minutes to do one singular quest. Um, so I feel like I'm, I'm going to see if I can maybe cut these episodes now next time. Some a little bit longer, uh, but some maybe around 20 minutes, depending on how long we get to do a specific task or specific quest line, right? That's kind of what I want to go with here, because a lot of times, like let's say, many times we can just travel, right? We're just mostly just traveling from one place to another with Mita, and usually maybe I can either cut that or still keep that, but keep it as one single episode, right? I want to try to make sure that there's always something being accomplished per episode, right? So that's kind of what we want to try to do here. Anyway, Mita's back home. She was able to recuperate from the entire mess, the entire dilemma with the the Daedric God and everything, the Daedric Cat. Um, to kind of explain some things, to just kind of let you guys know a little bit more about like just what is going on through Mira's head. Because I think that's sometimes really good when we can just kind of, you know, and un make understand the character a little bit better. The reason why I chose to have Mira follow through and appease the God rather than save her oh necromancy huh some necromancy going on in the backyard here do we want to intervene we could have me to intervene we could just let it happen and just let it be for now it's not like they're really bothering me at the moment so i guess we could just let it be for now <laughs> this necromancy is going to be happening in the backyard lovely all right well that's noted um the reason mita decided to help out the cat, you know, the Daedric cat, mostly was because out of fear. See, Mira is a, a scholar, right? She doesn't believe in the supernatural, and what she has experienced was probably one of the first few supernatural things that she ever could have even envisioned to ever experience by herself, ever. Is this a dead mock crab? Oh, yeah, no, this is a dead mock crab. Yep, we already killed those before. <laughs> Let's put the dead mock crab back in the water here, at least. Be a lot better than have mud crab be out here. But apparently we can't move it. It's a little too heavy for us. Alright. Never mind then. We'll go back to town. We'll go over to Falscar. Not Falscar? No, I'm pretty sure that's not a Falkreath. We'll head over to Falkreath and see if we can sell some things we were able to gather from our quest of finding the werewolf. Did take some things from the adventures that they held in value. Nothing too much. Nothing to disgrace them. Nothing... You know, major valuables, nothing precious. Just simple armor. You know, nothing too much, really. At least, I hope not. Look, Mita is a... She's a Khajiit. Khajiit are known to be survivalists. So, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta take whatever is valuable. Plus, it's not like the dead can really benefit from it. You know? I don't know. That just... Tw picking Mita's brain is gonna be a little bit rough. Because she doesn't think like a common folk, you know, common person would. I mean... Her thought, train of thought is very similar to a bandit rather than to just a common decent person. She thinks logically rather than thinking morally. To her, it only makes sense to take armor and whatever valuables she can have from the dead so she can trade it in, possibly benefit her. In a, in a sense, like honestly, it must happen, seems disrespectful for the dead. Seems like there's something we can go up here for. Not sure what this either sign tells us, if we can go up there for something or not. Just as Falkreath is down, and Helgen is over there, okay. But in a sense, it's just the way just the way she thinks. And having a supernatural being, such as a Daedric cat, invade, you know, inv invade into her life and ask her to do something was probably one of the scariest things that she has ever experienced in her life personally. Therefore, her own logical reason was let's appease the you know let's appease this daedric god this daedric cat so that it does not bother mira again in the future therefore her fear for the daedric god and you know for the supernatural made her brave enough and probably foolish enough to instead kill a werewolf and risk her life trying to hunt down a werewolf so that's kind of you know they're just picking her brain a little bit here and there also, uh, some of you have been questioning, like, why, uh, why, why, since Mira is technically considered a monk, she's not technically a monk, but I kind of realized that there's a new banner here. It looks really nice. I don't think I've ever seen these things before. Must be something new was added. Hello, the guard. Uh, some of you have been asking if Mira is technically a monk or not. Technically, 
there is a monkhood, sure. There is a monkhood out there that some Khajiit do follow and some other races do follow. But as somebody who grew up in a military family, the only thing that is remotely monk about Mita is her ability to, you know, her skill in hand to hand combat, and her ability to fight in hand to hand and use her claws to the full extent. Otherwise, she has pondered upon the monkhood, but never actually pursued it. There is a possibility we can try to pursue the monkhood with Mira in the future. I think it would be actually a lot better for her, personally, if she pursued some sort of, I, mean, I don't know, something more than just, you know, just something logical. Something that can teach her morality, personally. And I feel like this monkhood, you know, the pursuit of monkhood would probably benefit her as a character and just help her grow a little bit as a person. But for now, she's just going off of logic and fear, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we, no, it's not often you get, you know, a meeting from a Daedric God. Pretty sure anybody would have been scared for the life and try to make sure the Daedric God doesn't curse them or something. Who knows what Daedric Gods can do at this Monster. point. But as somebody who read a lot about Daedric Gods, she never thought she could actually run into one. She thought it was only fairy tales and folk tales. It turns out Skyrim is full of them. Skyrim is just going to be chock full of them. It's going to be a lot more dangerous here. Anyway, we need to go to a general goods vendor here. Hi, Thager. Uh, Falkreath was once full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. Those were better days. Gotcha. Uh, Green Pine Goods. Actually, we should probably talk to this man over here. We've seen him a couple of times Skyrim's in town. Skyrim's history of war is well documented here in Falkreath's graveyard. Let's see what we can learn from him. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, Traveler. We already know about the graveyard, but let's go ahead and inquire about this. You said something about a burial, no? Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, Traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arke? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barret's soul. You'd be an honor, yeah. Thank you. Would certainly do that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the experience with the Daedric's Prince and you no, know, with Daedric Cat has made Mira a little bit more sensible to the people's cause. Around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Let me know. I might have it stored away. All right, let's go and trade with them. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a stormcloak. You have goods for sale, yes? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Good. Well, we got some junk and treasures of, of, of our own to give away here. Steel sword of topaz. I feel like we could probably... Or torpor. I feel like we could probably keep something like this. This is a rare item. Might be nice to hang in our house at a certain point. We need to build a weapon rack. Uh, we got some blue mages robes we can go ahead and put away. I'll keep this for now. Hide armor, iron armor, leather armor. We can go ahead and put this away. So we might be able to level up here. Silver so garner ring, knapsack we can trade in as well. Good. Looks like our bartering abilities are getting better and better. Food wise, we can probably keep some of the foods here. Books, that's fine. Tools, we could probably sell some amethyst. I don't think an amethyst would be necessary for us at the moment. Everything else we'll keep for now. Petty soul gems, we could probably sell. Granted, they're not worth for us at the moment. We could probably sell them. That may be good for now. Wooden bow, don't need that whatsoever. Don't even know why we have a wooden bow in the first place. Uh, let's check what we can get here, if anything, from uh, for meter. Maybe we can get some supplies and equipment for building a house. So just horns would be actually really nice to have. Let's go buy a couple of horns. We can mount them on a wall. There we go. Nice wolf pelt, iron ore, lantern oil. Are we good for now with that? Lockpicks, mammoth tusk, moonstone ore, silver ingot, ruby dragon claw. Well, we, I think that's what we sold to him before, so we're not going to buy it back. Hmm. We need some sewn logs. That's what we need to do. We could probably go over to the mill and see if, some, it, would be, if you know, it would be okay for us to... Possibly get some logs here and there. Clay of Voins shows a path to the current goal. It is an illusion spell. I feel like maybe Mira should start focusing and studying a little bit about illusion spells. Defensive and protective spells out there. I mean, she is, you know, a scholar of a sword, so she 
does possess, you know, she will probably be able to understand some, you know, something about the magical abilities and magical spells out there. She is no expert in magic, I want to make sure to clarify that. Her mom is the expert in magic. She is the one that is a, a version of a destruction uh, class maester over in elsewhere. So, you know, maybe Mira could try to aspire to be like her mother just a little bit. Focus on defensive spells and protective spells. We'll go ahead and buy a book of clairvoyance for now. We probably could have found it somewhere else around here, but it'd be a lot easier for us to buy it for now. And start working just a little bit to, you know, see if Mira has any kind of capabilities. Even in defense, even in defensive abilities, or I guess illusion abilities, illusion spells, in order to protect herself. Ringmail Hood. Ooh, we got we can, we technically could get this ringmail hood here. It will provide us a lot more. I feel like it would be a lot more protective than our current. No, the dark hood would be definitely provide us a lot more armor. It is light armor as well, and that is pretty nice. So I think we'll stick with what we have right now. No weapons necessary at the moment. I feel like we're good for now. Steal anything from my shop, and you'll regret it. We'll make sure not to steal ever. That's what Mita will never do, especially not from this shop. If it was any other shop, maybe, but not this shop. Let's go get the book here, Clairvoyance here. Let's see, I think we need to go to Spell, yes, yeah, Spell Tom Clairvoyance. We need to start having Mita practice illusion spells. Granted, she has no ability in illusion spells, we need to have her practice in whatever task that we choose to do. Can I get you something? I believe this should allow us to use illusion spells a little bit. Plus, Clairvoyance would help us whenever we need to go on specific quests without Active in the map will really focus too much on fast travel. And the spell effect really looks really cool. I wonder if it was altered or changed. I believe I might have had it modded before. A vision looks really cool. Really attractive. I like it. For now though, we're gonna go ahead and have her walk around with the height shield. Just be a lot better for her in general. Oh, not what I mean to do. Alright, next task we need to accomplish over here is... Now that we are here, we do have a task to get friendly and complete tasks for people around the village. Maybe we could try to win favor with a couple of people around here. We did do the, uh... Oh yeah, we need to come back and give the ashes, don't we? Let's go give the ashes, let's see if we can find the priest around here. And handle I'm the sorry, ashes. I should really go now. Take this. There we go, for some alchemical experiments we can do. Looks like the weather is being nice here. Looks like Fall Priest is faring pretty well. Let's go over to the priest of Arcay. Should be able to find him around here somewhere. Should be near the burial grounds, I would think. Where did he go? Is he in a graveyard? These graves hold the sons and daughters of Falkry. I don't see him in the moment, but since we have the ability, let's go ahead. Actually, there we go. Deliver the ashes. We'll put away, put away any other uh, side quests. We'll activate this quest. Let's go ahead and try out uh, Clairvoyance here, see what Clairvoyance will take us to. Clairvoyance shall take us to the Priest of Arcay. Hopefully. Is it gonna properly take us away there? Now the side quests are, or well, some side quests are on, we're gonna go ahead and put away all the other side quests here. So it's, we can just see just the one side quest, just the main quest over here. Looks like we have to follow, we might have to go back to the inn. There we go, I hope this actually helps us level up the clairvoyance a little bit. Maybe let us see a little bit better by like where we need to go and stuff. You know? If you can level up clairvoyance so we can start working on having Mita specialize and start working with illusion based spells and be able to protect herself or just assist herself really whenever help. surviving. I'm just Dengir's mate. Let's go through here. Let's see if we can look over here. We also gotta level up a little bit, don't we? <laughs> Let's see if we can find the priest around here. Oh, there he is. Cooking something over there. Let's see, we should probably put some points... We'll put some points into magic, just to make magic a little bit easier. And since we will be practicing some illusion spells, let's go ahead and put some illusion magic here. There's a priest over here. War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. Dengir deserves more respect than his nephew, Jarl Sidgir, affords him. Conjuration, we could probably... Try to our hand a conjuration as well later, but baby steps, baby steps. We are starting mage. We cannot be advanced. And for some reason the bow is embedded into the table. I think it's a little broken here. Kajit has a delivery for Thade gear. Ah, Barrett's ashes. Oh, 
He was a good man. Was a hero named Not many warriors grow to a Ragnar fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make Ragnar sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Whoa. This is a people for means a lot to me. If you find it. We gotta get a journal for him, don't we? What else can we do around here? Maybe we can talk to the innkeeper. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Mm, could you collect a room? Go for sale? A place to stay? I'd like to hear more curious things. What could me learn more about magic? The people of Skyrim don't like magic much, so about the only place you're likely to find a teacher is the College of Winterhold. Hmm, alright, we'll keep that in mind. Khajiit ears are always open, no? And they'd like to hear a curious thing. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? That's also nothing we could discover. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Got it. See, maybe we could talk to the bard over here, see if maybe they need a task completed that Mira can accomplish. What can I do for you? Oh no, just a request. Keep a song in your heart to ward off the gloom. There's their gear. Uh, maybe Denegir? I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Of course. There's a plot against you? Kachi does not see one. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Sure, why not? Good. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Falkreath. I this think Mira is slowly understanding what Falkreath is all about at this point and what the people of Falkreath are about. Alright, so, we have some tasks that we need to complete here. We need to find a journal, and we need to steal a private letter from Denegir. See if maybe we could go look for that private letter from Denegir. Hopefully, without Denegir knowing anything. Or without Denegir hopefully minding us, stepping inside the house real quick. Maybe we could inquire Denegir about his dog, possibly. Open Lot's house. We can't go to Lot's house right now, seems like it's pretty open. Law doesn't seem to mind. And there's a letter over here. Read the private letter. Old friend, need all the iron ore you can dig up. Double my usual order. I know the mine isn't as rich as it used to be, but I'll pay extra. From Lod. Nobody's here. So I wonder if Mira can quickly take and nap the letter. Private letter to Denegir. We still gotta earn the title of Thane. And helping out citizens of Falkreath, or help, technically, helping. Helping, as in stealing letters, might be another way for us to do so. Where did the man go? There he is. An alchemist practitioner, okay. I was Jarl one. Practitioner. But I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. I feel like Mira is having to get a sense that Denegir might be either high in skooma or might be getting too old for his too old for him to function. Here's Lod's letter. It does not seem very suspicious. What's this? Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lod smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. Huh. Private letter removed. What can Mira do for you? We can do something more? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone. 
and Vigar escaped. And you want Mira to find the Wardstone, perhaps? No, it's too late for the Wardstone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Kaji will see that Vigor is destroyed. <sighs> you wish, uh, you wish Kaji to fight a vampire? Perhaps you should think again. Yes, I feel like Miro would definitely say something like this, especially after dealing with a lot of Daedric and supernatural things. At the same time, we do have to complete a couple of tasks in order to get a thing title. I feel like begrudgingly, Miro will have to say Kaji will see that Vigor is destroyed. Good, he will have fled to gather others of his kind. Lothrona. The Empire has ears all over this town. Ear, ears all over this town. Noted. We'll keep that in mind. See now, look, man. Go from vampire, from werewolves to vampires, Mira's quest and journey does not end here. How far is the cave away, though? Oh, it's all the way out in the Bloodless Throne. Wow, that's gonna be up here in the mountain, isn't it? Uh, is there a way for Mira to not do that? Maybe go to it, do another task around town. I think it would be more preferable mom that way. So Let's see if you can maybe... I don't believe there's another person we can make contact with. Do a quest for. We gotta either find a journal. Let's see, uh, see if you can find the journal. A Ronald's journal inside Darkshade Corpse. How far away is this place currently? All the way there. Quite a long travel away to be completely honest. That's gonna be a long travel away. Let's see if Mira can do something else around here as well. Promento Savinici, we still got business with Promento Savinici apparently. Of course, this is a Markarth, we may have to put that up on the map. Widow's Watch Ruins. Hmm, we could probably put that up as well. Helgen, no. Lido Dongard, no. Bookstory Wind Peak in. That's gonna take us back to Dawnstar, I'm not gonna do that. I read the book a little bit, and that's a bad place to go to. Dog along the roadside, ask people, uh, assist the people of Falkreath. Lumber for building a house. We should probably go buy lumber for building our house. Although, why would one go buy lumber? Let's go buy the lumber. Uh, let's go buy the lock. Not locksmith, but this over here. Forgot what it's called, actually. Cannot recall it at the moment. We need to talk to somebody here. I wonder if you can talk to him. I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. Wow, that's a little bit rude. Uh, cause you would like to buy some lumber. Doing some building, eh? We can deliver it wherever you need. Uh, 20 logs. Cause you, cause you will take 20 logs. 200 gold. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll have them hauled over right away. Good. All right. Then. Well, that secured our lumber for our house building. That's really good. After that, we need to craft some more logs, uh, some more logs here and there. We'll make sure to craft those in the future. Uh, but for now, Mira has the ability now to uh, possibly start putting together a nicer house with plenty of other halls. We're gonna have now we know where to get logs from. That's good. And 200 gold, that's nothing. We're we'll able to, you know, do a couple of tasks for 400 gold already. This is gonna be no problem whatsoever for us. No problem for Mira, that's for sure. Let's see if maybe we could. Possibly head out. Let's see. What could we head out to? I feel like Mira needs to go head out somewhere, right? She needs to head out to a new part of town or swing by particular areas here. What is this over here? Ronald's journal inside Darkshade Corpse. We could possibly try to head over to Whiterun, right? Have Mira head over to Whiterun and go to Provento Savinici and possibly go to the Darkshade Corpse. Discover all that. That could be a possibility. As well as maybe do some tasks around White Run, maybe not to really earn the favor, but to get to know the town, get to know the people, you know, establish ourselves a little bit better, learn what we can learn about the world around us. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll head over to White Run and stop by there for a little bit, do some trading, do some possibly mercantile, browse the shops, and maybe get to know White Run a little bit more. So we have not discovered the place yet, although we have the White Run stables apparently discovered. Oh, well in that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the marker. And as much as I don't want to fast travel all the time, we don't have a horse to use personally right now. So, I think it would be forgivable if we did some fast travels instead of have, instead of filming the entire experience of running from one area to another personally. 
Let's head over to White Run for now. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to the <laughs> Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing that. I kinda wanna say you could dress better. 